Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my noobs guide for Dark Souls 3. Alrighty, well, I think this could be the final episode because I need to finish up this area, which is not going to take long. Defeat the boss of this area, which is going to be the Twin Princess, and that is a really annoying boss fight, in my opinion. It's one of the worst. But besides that, I can go and finish the game. So, yeah, this might be the final episode. Now, if you remember, I ran past the gankers, that's what I call these people. And now that I'm behind them, this is actually kind of a good thing. Unfortunately, the aggro sucked. Oh, okay, that's not good. Because normally, you can actually get some good damage on the mage. The mage is like the worst one here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come here. Okay, I hit somebody. Oh, my God. Now, I'm sure there's probably ways to cheese these bastards. Okay, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Let's get him with this! Yeah! Come here. Get up. Rah! Okay, one down. Let's fuck this dude up now. Oh my god, the damage from the mage is ridiculous. That's what I was talking about. It's kind of a nine. Fuck you, mage. I need to kill this guy real quick. Okay, he is a goner, and that's how you get the dual katanas, which is nice. Rah! Now, the mage is really weak, but, um, yeah, it's whatever. Okay, pick that up. Let me go and pick up this item over here. There's going to be a titanite slab that we can get, and my voice just cracked hella hard right there. But, yeah, there's going to be a titanite slab that we can actually get for defeating these three annoying freaking enemies. I don't know if there's an item over here. I don't really think so. Well, at least I don't remember there being an item over here. But let me just go and double check real quick. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing over here. So, fuck it. That's what I say. Let's just pretty much move on. And we're also going to get the final Estus Shard coming up as well. So that's good. And there might be something else. Actually, yeah, there's a couple things. A little bit of a... Uh, some lore stuff coming up because there's a woman in a cage and this woman is believed to be the daughter of Guinevere and I've already talked about how the nameless king is pretty much uh, considered to be the or Gwyn's firstborn son which was a mystery from the original Dark Souls we never knew who his uh, firstborn son was and it was like a total mystery because he was like banished and they removed his statues and all that kind of I don't know, cool stuff or mysterious stuff about the guy. Now these enemies are going to come up from the roof. And you definitely want to aggro them one at a time if you can. If you get all of them on you at once, it's a total pain in the ass. So yeah, you really don't want that to happen. But I'm just kind of running around because I'm looking for the shard. It's going to be somewhere around here. You can tell because uh, it's a big open area. I think this is it right here. Oh, wait. That's not right. Oh, God. It looks like I might have aggroed too many of them. Oh, God. Run away. Run, run, run. Okay, hopefully I just got one. I think I just got one right now, which is good. But these freaking enemies hit too hard, man. They really do hit hard. And you definitely want to try to backstab them if possible. Okay, come here. Let's slam. One more hit should kill this one. Just don't want to get hit myself. Ow. Okay, that one is gone. Unfortunately, two of these guys are really close to one another. And that's not good. Now, what I could do is I could hit him with a bow. But I'm not a fucking pussy. Let's go get him! Oh, God! Okay, it looks like the other one is kind of far away. or so, I don't know where he's at, honestly. But he's not over here. It's whatever. It's his loss because I'm going to fuck his partner up real quick. Ah, don't hit me. Oh, my God, you hit so hard, bro. Okay, he's dead as well. So if we can kill the third one, we will get the Titanite Slab. And there he is. Hello. Okay, let's try to get behind him. I missed, of course. That's always fun. Oh, now watch out for that stupid spell. No, no day okay these guys are worth a lot of souls as well so if you actually want to farm some souls these guys are actually kind of worth it i don't know though because they do take quite a while to kill especially if you get all three of them on you there we go there's the slab if you accidentally aggro too many of them it just becomes a nightmare so 
it's one of those deals where I don't really know if I would recommend trying to kill them like that. Okay, now I'm confused because somehow I missed the freaking shard. Um, what the fuck, man? Hold up, let me come over here maybe. It could be like this, and this is where I'm tripping. In fact, there it is. I see the balcony right now. Oh, you know what? Yeah, check this out. Maybe you just have to do this. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Okay, so there is like a doorway. How did I pass this up the first time? I have no idea. Well, whatever. We're going to get it now. And, of course, uh, by getting your potions to plus 10 in strength, that's going to give you a trophy, and getting uh, all 15 potions will also give you a trophy so that's kind of nice all right now i'm going to come up here and i don't want to drop down actually i need to go all the way to the top there's a ring i believe at the top here and i want to say there might be something else here too but i'm not sure let me run around this circle real quick just to look i don't see nothing okay this is totally pointless in there, so I'm not even going to bother with that. And yeah, okay, I think that's everything. So let me just go ahead and come up here, get this ring, and then I'll drop down. And I will go and get the... What is it? It's a spell, I believe, but it's going to be where they imprisoned the hybrid. It's like a half-angel, half-human. And they, what they were doing in the lore was that they were trying to um, figure out a way... To like make the perfect Lord of Cinder based around Gwyn or something. I don't know. It's something to do with that. And they were doing this to the sons, which are the princes, and we're about to fight them. So it's pretty cool stuff. It's definitely something to look into if you're interested. Okay, hop down. Um, did I mess up? Oh man, I might have messed up. Wait a minute. Oh no, no, I didn't. I'm tripping. Okay, hop down here. Pick this up, and now I gotta get the fuck out of here. I hope I didn't miss something. I might have missed something, honestly. That would suck, because I hopped down. Oh, you gotta be careful here, too. But I kind of hopped down a little bit too soon. It looks like there was a platform I could have, like, hopped on. Okay, that's a blessed gem. That's nothing too important. And you can't actually uh, go ahead and hop down again. I might just get the hell out of here, because this is very dangerous, obviously, with gravity... And you know I don't like gravity, so I don't want to fall off and have to play my little song. I'm sure you guys would enjoy that. I don't think there's anything really hidden up here. Actually, there might be something. Let me uh, try to find it. Yeah, in fact, there's a ladder right here that leads up here. So this could be something. Take a look real quick. Oh, look at him fall. Nah, nah, bitch. Okay, now where the hell am I? Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's two chests over here. Not bad. Let's open this up and see what this is. Divine Blessing, cool. And what's this? Not sure. Ooh, some Twinkling Titanite. Awesome. And I think this is going to lead me back, which is kind of like a big circle. So I'm just going to Homeward Boner the fuck out of here. I also need to give this coil up because if you give it to the bird, you can get another Titanite slab. And yeah, that's a lot of Titanite slabs. And I think there's one more. There's just one more I need to get as well. And uh, I think that's it for all the Titanite slabs. But I have to kind of like crunch the numbers and try to figure out how many have I actually gotten. I guess I will go back to the shrine real quick and I will reinforce my potion. And I will also level up a little bit. And then from there I will go and fight the boss of this area. So I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well I am back. Let me go and call the elevator because it's going to be up top. And that's always a little bit annoying, but it's whatever. Now, getting to this boss is kind of a pain in the ass, I gotta be honest. Um, the reason why I think it's a pain in the ass is because, oh my god, there's a lot of enemies along the way. And I really don't think there's any reason to fight them, so I'm probably just gonna run past them, I have to be honest. But that is a very effective strategy, that's for sure. In fact, I should probably send this back down. And then, yeah, we're just gonna kind of run past all this because I don't even know if there's an item at all, like, over here. Let me quickly look because there might be something. Uh, nothing that I see right now. Let me come over to this side. And, yeah, there's nothing. So, I think I'm just gonna run. And, basically, I'm gonna get to the next shortcut, but 
I don't really think the next shortcut is all that great of a shortcut. I mean, you can use it, but you have to, like, then go to the Dragon Slayer armor bonfire, and then from there you can kind of, uh, you know, just use that bonfire if you are having trouble with this boss, which I would say that a lot of people might have trouble with this boss because this boss is honestly a dick. Like, I am not a big fan of this boss at all. Okay, fuck you. If you can't tell, that's a lot of fucking red-eyed knights. Now, this is the elevator right here that will give us a titanite slab. So that's awesome. But I'm going to quickly run over to the Dragon Slayer um, bonfire, and then I can rest there. Now... All you gotta do to get the Titanite Slab is just send this back up. It's kind of like the Sidworth's uh, bonfire. In fact, let me actually look at this area. I know that this is the place you can drop off to get that item. Uh, I guess I will go get that item real quick because there's another item over here. I didn't really explore this area. And I'm trying to grab all the stuff. Attack that. Let's open this up real quick and check this out. Titanite um, scale. I was going to say slab, but that would have been wrong, obviously. Okay, um, looks like we're good for this area. So let me go to the Dragon Slayer armor. But yeah, this elevator is basically just like uh, the Sid Wars elevator where you send it up. And then you're going to have a little secret elevator you can get on. It's going to take us down to a Titanite slab. So we're going to go get that real quick. And then from there, we're going to go and challenge the boss. So... Let's rest here, and if we do have trouble with this boss, which is a very high possibility, then I'll just spawn here and take the elevator up and run past all the knights and basically go and fight the boss again. So, let's do this, okay? I do have to get the slab. Now, it's kind of funny because they put a lever down here. And the only thing I can imagine that would happen that would screw people is if they accidentally walk on the elevator to send it back up. But, um, you know, it's one of those deals where it's like there's nothing down here but, like, a chest. That's it. That's the only thing that's down here. And that's where you get the slab. So it's like, ooh, how can people fuck this up? Actually, there's not even a chest. It's just an item, and it's the slab. But I guess some people might accidentally walk on the elevator and then, oop, they done goofed. Now, what I have to do is, once I send this back up, I'm going to have to basically uh, send it down again, and then pretty much just wait for it. So, get off the elevator, and now we're going to wait for this. There's a lot of elevators. Oh, God, it's kind of boring. Can we hurry this up and get me to the boss so I can fight this bastard? Not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this boss my first try. Um... This is one of those fights where, at least for me, it takes like a moment to adjust to the dodging of the fight because, oh boy, there's a lot of dodging that needs to be done. Now, I guess one thing I should probably talk about with this boss, because people always uh, bring this up to me. Actually, I should probably send this back down too. But they bring this up a lot, and I, I know about it, and I'm going to tell you guys, just in case anyone doesn't know this, this is kind of good to know. If you... um basically create both of the weapons that you can make for this boss you can combine them and make a really powerful sword it's called like the twin the twin prince great sword it's really really good so yeah i would definitely recommend trying out the weapon now the easiest way honestly and who is this right here oh look cool the easiest way to uh acquire the sword is to actually just have one of your friends drop you um, both the swords or one of the swords and you go make the other sword because what they want you to do technically is they want you to get the sword on ng plus but you don't have to wait to that you can just basically like i say get uh the other sword from someone else if you know them and then you could even dupe it if you want so wink wink if you know what i'm talking about but let's go and do this oh god i'm scared Now, honestly, it's him. Like, he's the dick. I, I do not like him. Now, if you guys don't know, if you can kill the this other prince once he comes out, then the fight's over. So, yeah, that's kind of a good thing. But as you can tell, his moveset is fucking stupid. I mean, I mean, look at this. He does so much damage, too. 
And I'm using a heavy weapon, so hitting him is going to be a bitch. Urgh. Luckily, I hit him hard, though. That's kind of nice. Urgh. And killing his brother is even fucking worse. In co-op, it's not too bad, but on your own? Oh, boy, this sucks. Oh, my God, he's just dodging away for days. Urgh. Oh, good, I, I stunned him. Urgh. Just going crazy. Oh, fuck, that wasn't good. Let me heal. Oh, shit! Okay, I need to heal again. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Dodge. Dodge. Dodge! Okay, see, like, when he disappears like that a lot, he'll do, like, some type of crazy fucking move. And that's the other thing that sucks, is that he'll teleport a lot when you're trying to attack. And then you'll miss because of it. And I, I fucking tried to dodge there. This is getting on my nerves now. God damn it! Fuck! Yeah, man. So you gotta get used to the dodging here. Okay. Alright, so that was stage one. Stage two of the fight is so much worse, in my opinion. It fucking really is. I fucking hate stage two. You want to try to do as much damage to the brother on the back. Um, because that's super duper important, unfortunately. That is not too easy. Oh my god, I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I knew it. Fuck you! God damn it. Alrighty, let's try this again. Oh, look at him already freaking dodging and everything. Freaking annoying. Oh my god, will you fucking leave me alone? Fucking bastard. Jesus Christ. And I didn't get my shit back. Are you fucking serious, dude? Alright, thank you. Okay, dodge. Yeah, like I said, dodging this guy is a fucking nightmare, man. Especially with this heavy weapon. Oh, God. Okay, no, I thought I dodged it. That attack, I swear, is like fucking impossible to dodge. Ah, uh, can I heal, maybe? No, no, of course. God, I swear, this is so frustrating with this guy. Oh, God, this is gonna be a nightmare on NG Plus for my no death run. Now that I think about it. Ugh. Will you fucking stun, maybe? Jesus. It'd be nice if he could stun, but he stuns me every five fucking seconds. Oh my god. I gotta heal again. And this is one of those problems where it's like, you want to get to the second part of the fight, like, really quickly, obviously, but it's a fucking pain in the ass, and you need a lot of fucking potions to actually get there, or at least to finish the fight. Oh, look at him get up. Like a little dick. Oh my god. Yeah, if you can't tell, he can't use his legs. It's something to do with his, like, um... I don't know, transformation because of the angel bitch, the hybrid. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Got him. Let's do this. Oh my god. Not looking forward to this. All right, come on. Let's go. I want to hit your brother. I hit your brother. Now that's really what you want to do is hit them both if you can. Ah. And of course I missed. Back up. I'm dead. I'm probably going to die. Ah uh, ha ha ha! Look at that damage, man! And of course, he shoots his shit, too, which is even worse. Urgh. Fuck you! Okay, one brother's almost dead. That's good. Oh my god, I swear, man. Dodging is a fucking pain in my ass! Come on! Yes! Okay, one's down. Gotta do as much damage as possible, which is a fucking pain in the butt! Urgh. Fuck you! That's the deal, is that you gotta do as much damage. But remember, all you gotta do is kill the brother on the back. If you can do that, then you're good. But it's easier said than done to actually kill him before you kill the other one. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Come on. Ow! Come here. Oh, God. Okay. See, I'm trying to roll behind him to do the roll attack and hit him. Obviously, that's not working too well for me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, come on. Let's get him. Come on. Yeah. Got him with the weapons at. Fuck yeah. Alrighty. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for all the Lords of Cinder. And now I can go and finish the game. Yeah, buddy. I guess we should maybe jump for joy. Yeah.
Alright, so, let me go ahead and light the bonfire, and now I'm going to go back to Firelink, and then from there, I can go and finish the game. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well, I am at Firelink Shrine, and what we have to do is we have to go and pretty much set up each one of these thrones with their crowns. So, let's go ahead and put that there. And who is that? You know what, I really can't tell who that is. It's a skull, but it's definitely not the giant skull. I know that one is the dude from Onderlando, and we got the giant, and you also got the Abyss Watchers, which is such a kind of weird one in my opinion. Okay, let me put this one. This is going to be the princess, so put that up there. There you go. It's just like one head, though. Why is it not two? I don't know, but you know, hey, whatever. This is the Abyss Watchers for sure. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I can see multiple heads. See, that don't make no sense. Why is there multiple heads there, but not over there? I don't get it. So the first one was the guy from Onderlando. All right, so go ahead and put that there. And there's the giant's head, obviously. And now we are good to go. The bonfire keeper is uh, making her way over to the middle. And we're going to get a cutscene and everything. I'm going to skip all that, though, because remember, this is kind of supposed to be spoiler-free for storyline stuff. So, let me talk to her, and we're going to be transported to a different area. Yeah, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah, my bad. Uh, total fail on my fucking part. Basically, uh, you don't have to talk to her. She actually still functions as a normal firekeeper. I don't really understand that. But what you have to do is you have to go and try to rest the bonfire. And when you do that, then you are transported to, like, the dark area here. Now, I don't think there's anything here for real, so we can pretty much just move on to this bonfire, and then this is going to take us to another place, which is, once again, kind of strange. I don't know, like, what was the purpose of showing us this? Maybe it's to let us see all that crazy shit in the background, and the beautiful view, and the crazy looking sun with the laser beam. What the fuck? Alright, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and go to the first flame. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well, we are here, and now it's time to fight the final boss. Now, my ending that I'm going to pretty much go with is going to be just Link the Bonfire ending. There's one where you have to, um, you get, like, uh, complete darkness, and I don't even know what ending that is, but I know you have to give her the eyeballs and then have her, like, uh, be summoned and all this kind of stuff. I think one is Link the Fire, and the other one is the, it's the Hollow freaking ending which all you got to do i think is link the fire but you have to set it up through the storyline with the hollow people and all that all right here we go oh god i'm definitely a little bit scared here okay this guy is a fucking dick i i will definitely say that um total asshole and a lot of people do not like this boss he's pretty difficult when i first fought him um i actually beat him on my first try which was like surprising that was for sure like it, i surprised myself but a lot of people who were watching my uh, video were very surprised by that as well and i don't blame them because like i said i literally was surprised myself oh my god okay i don't even know like how freaking hard this guy is supposed to be but uh yeah it looks like he's using the astora greatsword which is kind of funny god damn he hits freaking hard and he stays on your ass too Okay, let's go. Drah! Drah! Okay, come on. Let's charge this up. Oh, God, he got away. Not good. Okay, I want to do, like, my weapons art on him. Oh, my God, man. It's like, his weapon is crazy, dude. It's like a fucking greatsword that's like a fucking lance and a halberd. It's like fucking everything. I'm not going to be able to do my weapons art, honestly. Okay, he's going to transform now. I think he's going to go into a scimitar? It's something. Oh, it's a fucking uh, magic. What? That seems kind of odd. Oh, God. Okay, that fucking hurts, bro. No. Uh, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get that fucking out of here, bro. Yeah, this is really weird. I don't think I seen this the first time. What is that spell? Oh, my God. Get that out of here. Okay, good. He transformed. Come on. Get that shit out of here. Thank you. Okay, yeah! I got the weapons art. What the fuck? He got another fucking set of fucking, uh, soul mass. That seems very odd. 
Honestly, though, I really don't think this boss is all that difficult. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy at the end, though. And there we go. He should be dead. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's not. I forgot about this. He actually fucking has two fucking lives. Oh, God. Okay. Well, yeah, that's not good then. No. Oh, fuck me. Dude, that is brutal. Oh, my God. Okay, I cannot believe I forgot about that. He actually has two fucking lives. And this is where he becomes Gwen. Yeah, now he's basically Gwen. That's exactly what he is right now. He has the Gwen fucking moveset. And he's, like, doing everything Gwen right now. That is so awesome. And the music changes, too. Got to love the hyper armor, bro. Let's go. Back it up. Don't want to get killed now. No, bitch. Oh, fuck you. No! Of course, that had to hit me. Yeah, you can kick me in the face all you want, bro. I don't really care. Come on, a couple more hits, and this is fucking GG. Oh, my God! It's fucking annoying, man. I, I just want to heal and then kill you. Shouldn't be hard. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit, you threw that up in the air, bro. Not cool! Fucking A! There we go. Oh, God, can I get the hit off? I got hyper armor. There we go. Thank you, hyper armor. Jump for drive. Woohoo. Okay, so. You know, that was a little surprising, like I said. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that is how you can get Sunlight Spear. But it's not called Sunlight Spear. It's the thing he threw out right there um, at the end, which uh, it's not Sunlight Spear, unfortunately. But it's something like that. But that's how you can get it. You have to give up his soul. Okay, well, that's gonna pretty much do it. Yay, now I can actually uh, link the fire. And I kind of want to watch this because I haven't seen this ending. But that also means I should probably turn my dialogue up so that I can actually hear it myself. So if you guys aren't interested in seeing like the linking the fire ending, then yeah, you might want to turn the video off now. So just a little bit of a spoiler warning. But let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that was really stupid. Like, that was, like, probably the worst ending out of all of them. Um, like, at least in the first game, when you link the fire, like, you get fucking set on fire, and you burn up, and it's all crazy and shit. In this game, yeah, you get lit on fire, but you just kind of sit there and like, well, fuck it, you know, I'm on fire, what am I gonna do? I've, I've linked the fire, yay. So, yeah, that was kind of lame, but, um... The next one I need to do is I still actually need to do the hollow ending, so I will do that soon. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to pretty much do it for the noobs guide. I know that this wasn't my best noobs guide. In my opinion, I think I kind of, like, did this too early. I probably should have waited a while and tried to learn everything about the game before I started it. Because I know I messed up a lot along the way, and I apologize for that. Maybe sometime in the future, um, months from now... I don't know about months from now, but sometime in the future, I might redo the noobs guide. I'm not even sure. I might just do it totally over again and try to show everything in the game. But then again, it's whatever. I'm sure some people might not, might not be interested in that. And they're more interested in the challenge runs that are coming. Because the first one that will be coming is going to be my no death run. So you can pretty much watch out for that in the next couple days. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I would imagine it might be something along the lines of Soul Level 1. I don't know, then eventually I'll do NG Plus 7 and all types of crazy shit. Shield only, fist only, who knows what it might be. So, I really do hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.